Kaduna State Judicial Commission of Inquiry, set up by the state government, to find out the December 12, 2015 bloody clash in Zaria between the Nigerian army and members of the Islamic movement in Nigeria over an alleged attempted assassination of the chief of army staff by members of the movement, has submitted its report to the state governor, Nasser El Rufai. The chairman of the commission, Justice Mohammed Gaba, informed the governor that the group failed to make presentation during the sitting. For no reason known to the commission because there was no formal communication to the commission on why they decided not to continue their appearance before the commission. However, like everybody else, we've been reading in papers, newspapers, online, and other avenues that they did not want to appear. And at the end of the day, We've been able to finally produce a report of the Commission's assignment. After receiving the report, Governor El Rufai assures the panel that the report would be studied and implemented. Kaduna State has suffered too much from at least 10 rounds of ethnic and religious violence. We hope that this inquiry process the final and the final report that you presented today will help ensure that the legacy of violent disorder and the catastrophic toll in lives and property are finally consigned to the past. The spokesman for the group, Ibrahim Musa, says the only path to peace is the unconditional release of their leader, El Zagzaki, and other members of the group from detention. They suppose in the first instance that uh, they should have selected some people, even not members of the movement, but those who are somehow uh, sympathizing with the movement, so that they can at least bring out something from the side of the movement. And also there is no representation of human rights groups, uh, neither from the local human rights groups or the international rights groups. The governor says the commission's report will not be made public for the time being. However, expectations are high that all the recommendations made by the commission will help prevent a recurrence. Welcome back. Well, that's our key focus this morning. And uh, yes, we have our first guest who joins us from Abuja. Um, all right, let, let's go ahead and uh, uh, mark where. Well, thank you very much, Chamberlain. We do have with us in the studio uh, Mr. Ibrahim Musa, who is the president of the Media Forum of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria. Welcome to Sunrise Daily. Morning. Welcome. Yeah, you have rejected that report as being biased. Exactly. I mean, right now the report is no longer secret. It's been released and a lot of people have seen the, the, the comment of that report. Yes. But you have rejected it saying it is biased. Yes. Why do you describe it as being biased? Because uh, nothing has been heard from our own side. You know, since the inception of the Judicial Commission, we rejected it simply because we believe it will, be, it will not be impartial, it will not be fair to us because of the composition of the members of the committee. In that committee, there are some members who have vested interest against the Islamic movement and the Shia Islamic face in particular. Not even the Shia Islamic face, but even against our brothers, the Christian brothers. Uh, they wrote so many things demanding that uh, the Shia should be killed property, their property be banned, and uh, they should be imprisoned, so many other atrocities. And exactly what happened in that area is what they called for. So uh, since it will not be fair to us, and this is what it turned out, turn, turn out to be, we reject the report, actually. You rejected it, uh, you re rejected it over a bias you perceived from the members of the of the panel that was constituted by exactly. the Kaduna state government exactly. but that wasn't the initial story the initial story was that you weren't going to participate in that because your leader was still very much in DSS custody exactly it's part of the reasons we have about five reasons why we boycotted the sittings of the judicial commission and uh, the first one as I said earlier on is bias or the the, the the composition of the members of the judicial committee the other one is the detention of our leader we think since he's, he was not at the scene of the fracas, he was at his home when the military attacked him and killed his three children and his uh, followers. So why should he be in detention? And uh, these those who committed this act, who killed over 1,000 plus people, they are still going about their businesses. 
So if truly the commission want to find the truth, then the Sheikh should come and appear before the commission on his own volition, on his own free will, without being in incarceration. And uh, this demand has not been met. And also another reason is that uh, there is no representative of the movement in the commission. Also, there is no representative of other international human rights organizations in the commission. So we don't see any uh, advantage or there is no any gain in participating in the proceedings of the commission. So you, have you seen the report of exactly. it? Exactly. We have seen uh, it. And does it. it confirm your fears? Exactly. It confirms our fears. But some people will say that either way, you know, you are still going to be finding faults with this commission. Uh, because if you do not participate in the very first instance, even though you were invited, you mm. gave reasons why you would not come. Mm. And then at the end of the day, the report comes out, you know, without your participation, you are still going to be accusing it of bias. Of course, it has to be accused of bias because uh, it refuses to hear from our own side. It's not that we, we refuse to go to the committee. We put out our conditions, our, and our conditions are sensible. They are in line with the, with the rule of law, that there should be fair hearing. And fair hearing, since Sheikh Zakzaki is at the center of all this issue, he should be allowed free dom so that he can come and state his facts. But how can you inquire about a movement's history without knowing from the leader you either you agree with what other people are saying? You know, we have so many detractors, especially those Wahhabi sects, Salafi sects, and also the conspiracy of Israel and the rest of them. So it is all these people that we are given access to and uh, we are heard from, and the committee simply adopted all what they said without question mark. Mm. Chamberlain has a question for you. Yeah, I would like to find out, I mean, did you communicate, or uh, did your group communicate your objections to the committee because we just heard the chairman that say they were just reading over the papers the reasons why you said you were not going to appear it does appear as though they don't have that official communication from you 